Hey everybody, it's Terry Fan. First, I want to make a shout out to Gemini 686, WWE uh, G86, WWE Fan, JL2000, Matt, Matt Loves, WWE and TNA. And um, RKO All Day, J Fat Ha. Uh, ha. And that's about it. I'm gonna plug these guys into my channel, and these, I mean, in my subscription box, and you also check out these guys' channels. These guys have some great videos. Anyway, WWE fan JL 2001, you know, was my top 10 favorite matches of all time. It was a very hard list for me to make. But here we go. Stone Cold Steve Austin coming in at number 10 was Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Undertaker on Raw. 1999 after the night of the 1999 King of the Ring. This the reason this match is coming in number 10 was the Undertaker lost the match and I hate to tell you this funny story. My brother gave me the Stone Cold Stunner after the match because I was a huge fan of the Undertaker. That's the problem. I don't know why, but the Undertaker has always been my favorite. No matter if he was a bad guy or a good guy or the American Badass or X or the or the Phenom, he was always my favorite. Didn't matter what gimmick he was, whether it was a heel or a baby face, he was one always been my favorite. Anyway, <laughs> coming in at number nine is The Rock versus Man Cow Raw in 1999, the infamous night where Man Cow won the title. And I remember my brothers and I were counting down to Stone Cold coming out there. We we always had this habit of counting down when Stone Cold was going to come out to to the ring. <laughs> we always counted from five or ten. To hear the glass, and sure enough, Stone Cold came out there and gave The Rock the chair, and Mankind won the WWE title that night. That was a great night. Coming to number eight, Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock versus versus Kane and Mankind at Full of 1988. <laughs> this was a classic match and a great build-up too. You didn't know that The Undertaker and Stone Cold were going to work together that night. I like the part where The Undertaker flicked off Stone Cold, and Stone Cold just laughed about it. <laughs> Coming in at number seven is I think it's a very underrated match. Do Love vs. Owen Hart from Raw, August 4th, 1997. This was a solid wrestling match. One of the best matches ever I've ever seen. That's the reason it's on my list. And if y'all didn't see that match, I should try to find that match. Number six is The Raw vs. Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 17. The end of this night where Stone Cold won the WWF title and became healed that night. This was a solid wrestling match. Now another match I think is underrated this is number 5 is Shawn Michaels vs. Ric Flair Bad Blood 2003 which I was at. This match saved the card show in my opinion. These two put on a heck of a match. And if you watch this match you would think to yourself how can these two not be two of the greatest ever? Eddie Graham vs. Kerning on WrestleMania 20 and comes in at number 4. I love the ending where the Eddie Guerrero took off his boot and Eddie Guerrero, or actually Kurt Angle had Eddie in the ankle lock and Eddie removed his boot, then rolled up Kurt Angle and retained his WWE title. I think Eddie Guerrero was one of the best WWE champions in the past 10 years, in my opinion. Coming in at number three is the, probably in my opinion, the best Hell in a Cell match next to Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker is at Bad Blood 1997. Kind of number is the Mankind vs. The Undertaker, King of the Ring, 1998. The infamous night where The Undertaker threw Mick Foley off the cock the cage 20 feet to the announce table below. That was This was a sick match. They did everything from slamming each other to the cage, having Mankind get thrown to the bottom of the cage, from the top of the cage to the bottom of the mat. That was sick. I remember this match makes me. <laughs> this match gets me every time because this match was sick even the thumbtacks that's what <laughs> really got this match even this book match was just extreme if, if, if you cannot say this is probably the best that was probably the best Hell in a Cell match next to the Shawn Michaels and the Undertaker's Hell in a Cell match then you're not a wrestling fan if this match is not in your list of favorite matches then you ain't a wrestling fan my friend Coming in number two was at an event I was at, Survivor Series 2003. Uh, with Steen, Team Bischoff versus Team Austin. This was classic match. A match. 
a great build up and a great way to start a great match overall. This match kicks axe. And my number one favorite match of all time is at WrestleMania 14, The Undertaker vs. Kane. I remember I was so tense. I thought Kane was going to beat The Undertaker that night, but he didn't. I said I rented it on tape, but it took three tombstones, one, two, three tombstone pile drivers to beat the Kane that night. This was a classic WrestleMania match. Anyway, Terry Fan signing out. This was a asked by WWE fan JL2000. Thanks for watching. Take care.